Good morning, everybody. On the 6th of January 1991, the bodies of Meredith and her three children, Adam, 11, Travis, 9, and Kerry, 2, were found at the Parafield Gardens home. All four had been murdered. In 1992, a warrant was issued for the arrest of Stuart Pearce, Meredith's husband. To date, he still remains at large. Today, we are releasing computer-generated images using aged progression software to show what Stuart might look like 23 years on. It's not an exact science, but we hope it gives a bit of a realistic picture to what he may look like, and we ask that the public consider these images, and if they have any information, to please contact Crime Stoppers. Um, as you're aware, recently we issued a million dollar reward in relation to this murder investigation for the three children, and we gain hope by releasing these images today. It generates information for the public which enables us to progress this investigation. Today, we don't know whether he's alive or dead, 23 years out on. Um, it's really hard to know, um, but we do hope that these images will generate some information which we can then follow up and hopefully try and bring this matter to conclusion. The last reported sighting of him, and where was that sighting? Look, that's a very difficult question. There was a sighting many years ago with his young son. I can't establish, well, we can't establish that is 100% correct. There was also a sighting in 1996. Again, we can't establish that they was in Victoria that that was correct. Um, we, you can only go by the information you have, you know. Um, so but we looked, sorry. So you do think he's been in contact with his younger son? Very difficult to answer. Very difficult to answer. I, th I think there is a question mark over that information. When was the last time you um, generated images like this and why have you done it um, you know, this week? Well, the, uh, the age progression software is relatively new. It's only been around for um, a few years. It's used in the general um, um, making a photo identification from a crime scene. Um, and if a witness uh, says the image of the person is a bit older, they're able to age that person. Um, it, look, it's all part of a push to solve unsolved murders, and if we can use new technology to help advance our cause, we will. Are you investigating any reports of sightings or inf any information at all that he might be in the United States? Not that I'm aware of, no. Have you ever enlisted the help of foreign authorities to help you track down Stuart Pearce? Uh, I'm not that well, I'm aware of, no, but I'm not totally over the investigation that's been travelling for 23 years, obviously. Do you still think you could be in the South East or, or anywhere? Oh, look, it, it, you, just, you, just, you, just don't, you just don't know. Look, we're 23 years now on. As I said, we, don't even, we can't even confirm whether he's now alive or dead. Um, but obviously, you know, we seek from the public their assistance in trying to identify lines of inquiry which may help to bring this matter con to conclusion. Because obviously it's a, it was a very you know, um, terrible situation, a tragic murder of three very young children and their mother. Um, you know, we will do whatever we can to bring it to some sort of conclusion. What, you, can, you can only imagine people would wonder what possible motivation would he have to murder his wife and children mm. in such a horrific way. Uh, is it drug related? I mean, surely you have some kind, some theories that you're working on as to why he did this. Oh look, oh, to do this type of crime is absolutely horrific. To work, to do we have the complete jigsaw puzzle of what occurred? No, we don't. And um, to have done what we are alleging he has done is unspeakable, and you cannot rule out any particular motive. It could be yeah, mental illness, it could be a breakdown of relationships, it could be drugs. And I'll really only be speculating. Until we can put together the entire picture, you don't really know what's happened. But he was involved in drugs, wasn't he? Drugs were found in the home. I, I believe he was known to police, but yeah, look, I can't particularly comment on that. But drug related, were drugs found in the home? Sorry, yeah, I, yeah, I can't comment. I can find out afterwards for you. I just, just a question I don't know the answer to. He did have tattoos, I believe. Also help. Uh, yes, he did have. He had two tattoos, I believe. Uh, one was a naked woman with a rose on her back, on his upper right arm, and a red and green rose over a Maltese cross on his lower left leg. If these sightings are unconfirmed, how sure are you that he is still alive? That these images, you know, will help find him. Well, that's the very issue of 
um, tried to explain that look, we don't know whether he's, he's still alive, alive or deceased. Um, but because we don't know, we need to keep trying to push the investigation to try and bring it to some sort of conclusion. And that's why, why now? the... Why now? Why are you doing this now? Why not a year ago, even six weeks? Why, why, why now? Why look, at the, the, the time is just appropriate. As I said um, earlier on in the year, we pushed for the million dollar award, which um, is now out there. Um, the software's new, we're just starting to use it. Um, it's, it's just appropriate. For it to come out there. There's nothing new it's information smart. that you're trying to fish out, some sort of flush out some more info on, or rattle some cages. None of that's going on here. Uh, look, that's a comment I would generally comment on, as you, as you'd be aware. But there's nothing significant happening. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in that way. What is the reward for anyone who has any information? It's up to a million dollars. And is that one of the biggest rewards on the NCGSA? A million dollars is the largest reward on offer in Australia um, and South Australia. It was um, re-increased um, dramatically early on the year for the, all the child murders, and there are, um, I think, 18 children that, that now applies to. Um, plus, there was all previously a million dollar award for the National Crime Authority bombing. And how important is it to you to get to the bottom of this, considering the nature of the crime? Oh, it, it's, it's crucial not only from the police perspective, but from you know the family and friends of Meredith and the children, and just you know for the state in general, and it, this this applies to all unsolved crimes. You know, if we can do anything to solve any of them, you know we'll throw the resources at it to to try and bring any of them to a conclusion.